The president of Burkina Faso, Rock uh, Kabore, has reportedly been detained at a military camp amidst concerns of a potential coup in the West African country. Heavy gunfire was heard around the president's residence in the capital of Ouagadougou overnight. The government has imposed a countrywide curfew after gunfire erupted on Sunday at multiple barracks in the capital. Soldiers want their commanding officers to be fired for failing to contain a jihadist insurgency. The ominous sound of tear gas fired on protesters by security forces. On Saturday, a crowd gathered in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou, dissatisfied with the government and President Rock Kabore's inability to control a jihadist insurgency that's troubled the country for seven years. Il faut que, uh, Rock, part. Rock must go. We all agree on that. We believe that the government is catastrophic. Catastrophic in all ways, especially when it comes to security. The next day, further signs of unrest, this time from the army. Heavy gunfire coming from several barracks in the capital, plus disrupted internet connections, prompted fears of a coup. The defence minister was quick to get on the air to deny the government had lost control. The government has confidence in the army, which remains committed to the republic. We ask the people to remain calm, to carry out their duties. We are following the developing situation so we can provide information on the real reasons for these shootings. So I can tell you that, for the moment, everything is under control and we ask our army to continue to support our republic and carry out its missions to protect its territory and its people. But his words did little to calm the protesters who rampaged and set fire to the ruling party's headquarters. More demonstrations sprang up across the capital in support of the mutinying soldiers, fed up at the lack of support in fighting the Islamists. The soldiers demanded more resources and that the military top brass be sacked. All of this just a week after 12 people were arrested on suspicion of planning to destabilize institutions in the country. Well, for the very latest, let's bring our West Africa correspondent, Amake Okoye. Amake, we're getting reports that President Rock Kabore has been detained. Do we know where he is at this point? Absolutely correct, Terry. Uh, President Kabore has been detained at the military camp. Uh, that's what we do know, and that has followed a uh, heavy gunfire, if you like, while the rest of uh, Burkina Bay's, ordinary Burkina Bay slept. There was a big uh, battle, if you like, in the presidency where he was uh, detained by this military uh, personnel. Indeed, this is now an, a big uh, kind of statement that they have made, which is opposing what the defense minister had said yesterday when he said that the country is in charge. Seemingly, uh, the, country, the, 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 uh, I mean, the government is not in charge as it is because the president has now been detained by the military at the military camp, Terry. Now, this is looking more and more like a military coup. Has anyone claimed to have seized power? Right, that's the expectation. Typically, when this happened, you know, the military would not waste time in, in declaring their position and whatnot. So we're expecting that, you know, in the coming hours, as fluid as this is and as it's developing, that there is going to be a statement or the military will come out to say, this is what is going to happen. We, we, those who will be in charge of uh, Burkina Faso moving on uh, since they have now detained uh, President Kabore himself. We are not sure. We've not gotten any information from the government side, but we're hoping that definitely before today ends, because it's going to going to be myriads of stories coming in that there will be a statement from that quarters. Amaki, give us a little bit of background here to this, what appears to be a coup. Uh, what are the military's grievances? What do they want? Right. I, I mean, over the course of the years, uh, since uh, President Kabore, of course, took over, there's been uh, that level of dissatisfaction that he's not been able to take charge and control the security situation in the region, particularly how the militants are, you know, very, very active in that country. Now, the military is asking for more resources to be able to take charge. They are also asking that, you know, they be given all that they need to take control. And 
the things, what makes this different is the fact that we've seen a lot of support from the people, as opposed to other times where you know military, where there is a military, a supposed military coup. It looks like it's just the military, but this time we are seeing the people giving, you know, uh, supporting the military to say yes, take over. We want you to stand, you know, want you to take charge of the country because the president has failed. Uh, so those are their grievances, and those are what they are asking for that they need more resources and that they need support themselves to be able to, you know, take charge and to fight this militancy that is been affecting uh, uh, Burkina Faso, if you like. Maka, thank you very much. That was our correspondent, Amake Okoya, there.